So Warzone 2 usually doesn't play as fast as this. But instead, it usually plays a little bit more like this. Stuck in the gulag, waiting for your opponent. Not really sure what you did wrong. Well, that's why I'm here today. Because in this video, I'm going to show you how to get more kills and more wins in Warzone 2.0. And I'm going to show you how to do this completely on your own. When dropping it hot, the first thing I look for are two things, a good gun and good positioning. And the best positioning on this side of the map is on top of this ladder. So if you remember from earlier, I landed on a red crate. The RNG gods blessed me. Not only did I get an LMG, which has the most damage per mag, but if you remember, I also got a UAV. So I pop it now, and I see there's two enemies directly below me. They're on my level, so I go ahead and push the first one. So I know he's there. I should probably like take in a further engagement because I have an LMG like that. So I'm jump peeking. I'm not considering the gun I have, like the ADS and stuff like that. But also like I had a UAV, like I know where he is and got to take a fight for it than that. It's all good. So after analyzing my in-game mistake, which is crucial for any player to get better, it's now time to lock in for the Gulag. There's this one spot on each side of the map that I love going on. It gives you a tactical view of the entire map and I quickly spot this enemy to the right. It only takes two shots with that Semtex after he's weak, so then I go right back to the same spot, looking for information. And this is why positioning is so important. I didn't take a single bullet of damage simply because of my positioning. So coming back from the Gulag and regaining is probably one of the hardest things to do once you lost your momentum. But fear not, there are many ways to regain, including this one, going to a stronghold. If you die early and you see a stronghold open, if it's not red, I really recommend heading there right away because you can get your loadout and you can get a lot of cash. Move to the stronghold and disarm the explosive. As you can see, all you need is a pistol because if you position yourself properly, you could get their guns. And once you defuse the bomb, you not only get your loadout, but you get a permanent UAV on your location. But keep an eye out for these bots, and most importantly, keep an eye out for these two chests. Because not only do they have a lot of cash, but they have UAVs. So as I'm rotating in, I hear my enemy call on their UAV. So then I call my UAV to make sure they're not close and gaining in on me. I start shooting this one guy come in from the gulag, light him up with a few shots, and know that he's coming with no gun and probably no plates, so I decide to push him first. But then I see two closer enemies and decide to engage them first. I down two, and I'm guessing both of them help self-revive because there's a lot in this game now. So I decide to push the one closer as I can't see the one further away. I was right. He has self-revive and I'm guessing he doesn't have another one. So I quickly run away so his teammate can't shoot me from behind. And here's our friend from the gulag earlier we were shooting at. I decide that because I have low health and not enough information, I'm going to plate with an escape route up the stairs. So if you didn't know already, you could store multiple UAVs, so I decided to drop mine and see where the remaining enemies are.
Well, you can clearly see that I'm still getting used to the bullet velocity in this game. But regardless, that wasn't a good shot. I only have 40 bullets left in my RPK, so now I gotta push up and get aggressive. I got the first one down, so now it's time to retreat, plate up, and shoulder for information. I was able to win that gunfight by shouldering for information. I'm going to leave a link down in the description of a full breakdown of this clip. To push the pace, we always want to be getting as many UAVs as we can. Remember to always open your map and ping the enemy that you want to go for. In this case, I chose the enemy that was further away without high ground. Thanks to my UAV, it brought me right to my enemy. On the top left, you could see that my enemy hopped in a car, so while I know he doesn't have a gun out, I decided to get high ground and shoot from above. I patiently wait to see if he has a teammate, and then I start shooting. As I have high ground, I realize that there's an opportunity to hold people rotating in from the storm, so that's exactly what I do. So after that kill, I'm looking for any stragglers rotating in from the storm. But as I don't see any, I decided it's time to push my bounty. Here. So I didn't realize that my bounty was actually on top of the other side of the roof, so that was a little bit of a goofy play. Luckily, I'm able to down one, and then I continue to shoulder for information to see where the other enemy is. So after getting away from the precision airstrike, it's time to queue up the goofy music, because this is exactly what you shouldn't do when there's only one way up a building. Luckily, I'm able to get out of that gunfight as my name speaks for itself, Cody Vades. I got out of the gunfight, and now it's time to abandon it and to find a better one. I hear those AI gunshots and know that my enemy must be close. And there's my bounty from earlier. Finally rotated, no longer camping. Just the way we like it. More AI gunshots, more enemies. So I shoot down from high positioning, and I take out Tally from South Park, sending him all the way back to Colorado. So I was finally able to get my bounty off of me. As I notice I have a lot of cash, I decide to beeline it to the buy station and check if there's a UAV available. So now it's time to rotate using the edge of the map, making sure we have no enemies towards our backside. I decide to call on my UAV early to make sure that nobody's holding me while rotating in. Now it's time to position myself for cover, knowing exactly where the enemy is. So that was a pretty easy fight because we had the better positioning. Now it's time to heal up, look at the map, and see what the best rotation is for endgame. So while rotating and keeping the storm to my back, I find an enemy in front of me. So 
So instead of rushing straight to kill him, I instead get a better position so I don't get hit from another side. So now we're rotating into zone, knowing that there's nothing behind us. So using the pinwheel rotation as earlier, we're always clearing our back behind us, making sure there's no enemies there. Before pushing this enemy, I make sure that there's nothing immediately below me or to my right. So immediately after killing him, I go back to where it's safe, knowing that there's nothing behind me as I've already cleared it out. I quickly see that there's only three people left alive. It's 1v1v1. I like to ping areas before rotating knowing if it's safe or not so I don't get caught out in the open. I spot one of the two remaining players and instead of shooting him, I ping him and I use trigger discipline to not give away my position. That's probably one of the most important things you could do at an endgame. Stay as stealthy as possible unless you can see both enemies or you have a super clean shot. After clearing my back, I see him jumping down and I take my shots because now I know exactly where both of them are. I know where the last guy is, so now it's time to ping to make sure he's in the bush and shoot. Thanks for watching, and as always, have an amazing day.